Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, how's everybody doing today? Do we have any cat jammers? Hello, welcome, welcome. Hey guys! Hello! It's been a while! How are you doing? Okay? Hope you're doing okay. Oh god, I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited, like every waking second inside me is like... I cannot contain the hype. You know, it's funny that I say this because I've seen comments... Or, yeah, well, comments where uh, someone was like... Uh, it's funny how Leon put Ishin in D in that tier list, and now he's like very excited for it. You know, honestly, I'm way more excited for the um, experience with the chat than the game, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm excited for the game, of course, but... Whew. Going through everything with chat is gonna be fucking awesome. I can't wait for it. Buzzcut. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a man bun, if you will. <clears throat> Chat. Who's excited for Ishian? Who's the artist? Uh, it was someone on Fiverr. Uh, they're still actually making more stuff. I'll say that. I'm not gonna say any more for now. But <clears throat> I have more stuff um, planned. Oh god, I'm so excited! Like, there's so much to talk about today, and there is. At least one thing that I have to, like, I want to reveal to you guys, and, oh, can't fucking wait. Uh, also, a little birdie told me a demo for Ishin might drop today. Maybe. If it's not today, it's probably going to be tomorrow. And I don't know if it's going to be, like, on Steam as well. It probably should be, but, you know. But yeah, if it's gonna be today, I'm probably gonna try streaming until three hours from now and see if that is true. If it's not, I mean, if it drops like at midnight, you know what that means. I'm gonna fucking stream again at midnight. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about Xbox as well. I'm not sure about uh, the other platforms. You got an exam tomorrow? Best of luck! You got this! You got this! Uh, 3pm Is it today? Well, if it, if it is today, I mean, we'll see, we'll find out I'm probably gonna stream long enough for that anyway I mean, today's stream is all about talking about Ishin And getting that hype going There's so much to talk about <clears throat> How many of you in the chat pre-ordered Ishin? And have you gotten the standard edition? Or the digital deluxe? And if you got the standard edition, did you get it digitally? Or did you get a physical release? And if you got a physical release, did you get the or like the normal box? Or did you get the steel look? <laughs> deluxe, deluxe, deluxe. I actually went ahead and got the deluxe code today as well. Oh. I'm assuming, like, today might be the preloading at the very least. If the demo is not today, it's gonna be, uh, you know, th there's gonna be the preloading to look forward to. Uh, very expensive for me, don't worry. That's why I'm here. You can experience the game with me uh, in two days. God, it's so. It feels so weird saying, oh, we have just two days left. Like a dragon issue. Yo, thank you for the Dragon Tear XAO, thank you. You guys want to see something else that's cool? Oh shit, another member. Def, thank you buddy. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. You guys want to see something cool that I uh, have for the stream now? Watch this. Look! Mini Ichiban! <laughs> uh. This is a test super chat alert for $81. Yes, yes, Brian, yes. Thank you. Uh, I have more stuff like this planned as well. Can't buy the game on the first month. I'm saving up for another game. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I bought the Digital Deluxe, but I won't have time to play until summer. Oh, hope uh, everything goes well with you. Oh yeah, I, I also forgot to mention, tomorrow is my birthday! Right before Asian. Amazing birthday gift. Thank you! Apex94 for the dragon tier, thank you. Okay, let's get to the, the the meat of the matter, I think. Is that what they say? I don't know. The meat, the butter, whatever. All right, so if you're just getting here, welcome everybody. Um, the purpose of today's stream is to take a look at everything we've uh, seen of Like a Dragon Asian so far, and that includes trailers, Gameplay videos, yada yada yada. We're probably not going to cover every single thing, but, you know, we'll go through as much as we can. Uh, so let's put on the gamer headphones and... <sighs> thank you, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah, I'm probably not... I mean, I was going to say I, w I wasn't going to stream tomorrow, but if the demo comes out tomorrow, I have no choice, really. <laughs> you can bet your ass I'm going to stream that shit. Okay, um, like a dragon Ishin. let's take a look at the announcement trailer first. I don't remember the exact order in which they all came in, but, you know. Actually, we probably aren't going to even see them in order, we'll just, like, go through them, really. Anyway, anyway, let me fix a little something... All right, here's here's the uh... Firefox. Come on up here, buddy. Okay, so the announcement trailer, the moment where every single Yakuza fan lost their shit before knowing anything about the game. They're like, oh shit, we're getting Ishin, finally. Uh, let me just, hold on. All right. Kyo1867.不思議な話もあったもんやな。時代を動かすはずの男が時代遅れの男に切られ死ぬ。しかもこの世に存在しないはずのもう一人の自分に切られることになるんやからな。なあ。坂本。坂本。龍馬さんよ。Oh, the music. How do you feel about... We'll get to those later, don't worry. There's a lot to talk about with the cards. Oh, boy, I can't wait. This trailer is so good. And then they revealed that backdrop. My, look at how gorgeous that is. Like, Ooh. RGG Summit. Remember that? <laughs> oh, the Sega jump scare. I was gonna say. So regarding the uh, 
was I going to say? The, 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 say it with me. Um, I've seen so many people, like, across all fucking social media that are like, where's Devil Leon 7? Add him as a card. And, like, I've, I've wanted to say this for a while. I kind of did on Twitter if you follow me there. But, man, as much as I really appreciate all the love, you guys, thank you. Like, it, it brings a tear to my eye. I, like, what, what else can I say? I really appreciate it, but at the same time, please don't use that as an excuse to be rude to the other guests. You know what I mean? Like, they made it in. I'm happy for them. I'm ge I genuinely am. And if you go and put my name in the same sentence as dissing one of the guests, it's just like if like fans of th that guest sees that comment, they'll be like oh, who the fuck is Devil Leon 7? Must have a shitty like uh, following, you know what I mean? Like, the very least you can do about it is just be civil about it. Um, and man, I, I want to talk more about the cards, but that's, you know, that's coming with, with the card trailers and we're gonna talk more about it then, but I just wanted to say that first and foremost for anyone that's here. Anyway. What do we have next? <laughs> Alright. The ambush trailer. Wait, why the fuck is that up there? Let me remove that. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Jim. Thank you, thank you, buddy. You're the best. You're the best. We here in Australia really have to wait more days. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Also, one thing I want to say about the cards, real quick. I have a good guess as to why, you know, they went for uh, the people that they went for. Because if they choose me, for example, everyone and their mothers that follows me knows what Yakuza is. But with the others, it's more likely that they have um, followers or viewers that don't know what Yakuza is. And that would be new fans, you know? But yeah, anyway. Let's focus on this, and we talk about the cards again later, when, when that arrives. Yo, Cherry, welcome. Oh, look at Mina. Oh, you follow me because of Resident Evil? <laughs> Fellas, who are these two? <laughs> Damn, sick dodge. Yo, thank you for the eight months. Uh, can't read your name, sorry, but thank you. <clears throat> who are you? I don't know if the voices were re-recorded. I'm pretty sure um, the equivalent for uh, Fuma or Kazuma is someone new. I don't, I don't know. No, oh, thank you for the super chat, Black. Thank you. A Devil and Seven card would be too up anyway. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. So, I think this is pretty much an extended trailer. You see the same scene, but uh, there is more. <laughs> the tale of Sakamoto Ryoma, taking on a false name, joining the fiercest swordsman in the land, and altering the course of an entire nation, all spurred by revenge, and the fucking four faith plays for whatever reason. <laughs> Do you guys remember how fucking taken aback we were when this played? What the- like- 
I was just like, what the hell is For Fate doing here? <laughs> Yo, thank you, Joe. I do remember you. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. Kuze. And also the moment they showed these new faces, I was like, what the hell? Okay, if you have any, out of all the new, like, replacements or the recasts, which ones do you like most? Uh, thank you, thank you, Joe. I don't know if you remember me from the Yakuza Games tier list stream, but thank you again for being such a great streamer and inspiring me to stream. I got more confidence now. Thank you again, Leon. I'm really glad to hear that, Joe. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Thank you. You know, I think Adachi is also a good fit. I mean... I remember seeing someone say, like, he's he really doesn't fit and all that. But you'll see why. I, I'm not gonna say anything now. I think he does fit. Oh, and then they, this fucking part. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What is he doing here? White hair? Korean guy? Game ruined. Cancelling my pre-order right now. In fact... Let me call Nagoshi. Oh wait, he doesn't work there anymore. Yeah, the fact that Yuki is a story character now. Pretty huge. Yeah! Tomorrow is yours, chat. Tomorrow. Well, after tomorrow. And this is another one. God, how many trailers do we have for this? There's the combat trailer, and then there's the Blood of Vengeance trailer. And then there's like the each style preview stuff, and then there's the cards. Man, I... <clears throat> I think I talked about it before briefly, but like... Yo, thank you for the super chat, Calm. Thank you, thank you. The PS5 preload is broken, it's the 15th and we can't install it. I think you just the have PS5 to wait- The PS5 preload is broken, it's the 15th and we can't install it. You probably just have to wait for a specific time, because I think that's how, like, you know, the, the storefronts work. Um, it's probably gonna be in, like, three hours from now. Uh, uh what's... 3 p.m. GMT, I think, maybe. But yeah, I think it'll just... just wait for it. <clears throat> All right, so combat trailer. Yes, I did commission that art, and it was fucking awesome. Sakamoto Ryoma. Sakamoto Ryoma. Nishiki. Nukande mo kiru. Kaku wo kime ya. Swordsman. Gunman. Oh yeah, this is the remix for a collision of our souls, right? Pretty epic. Of course they show the tag drop. Remember this heat action in Zero? This is where it comes from. Wild Dancer. The most anticipated style. You stuck on Scum. 
cannons. I like those little blue particles that come out. Wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure you saw them, but... Just to rewind, pay attention. In the heat actions. I like those. Yo, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yo, Spank, welcome. God damn. Which style are you guys looking forward to the most? Like, um, oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, I'll mention it soon if I remember, um, Wild Dancer looks really, really fun, but I think I might actually use Swordsman the most, just because it's like the most well-rounded one, defense-wise and attack-wise. I wonder if they tweak the moves at all for the remake. Like, they, they didn't need to, I guess. But if they did tweak something, that would be interesting. Yeah, I was wondering about the brawler uh, speed as well. Is that in the original too? From what I can tell, you get the speed after you do a successful parry only. It's not like always, but I could be wrong. How do I become a member? Uh, there's the join button under the stream, I think. <laughs> Who is ready for the best style? Gunman. <laughs> la, 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 Our moves unchanged? We don't know. That's what I'm wondering about too. They changed the baller speed attack. And the circle moves got a little nerf. Huh, okay. You know, there's something I, like... I already forgot what I was gonna talk about. <laughs> God, my memory. It's not always the best. Oh yeah! I've seen, like, concerns about how the pre-order bonuses give you these overpowered weapons, and it's like... Well, one, we don't know how overpowered they are, and two... It's not like they're holding a gun to your head and forcing you to use them. Like, if you wanna... That's the beauty of it. If you wanna use that overpowered shit from the beginning, go for it. More power to you. And if you don't want to, you can also do, you can also do that. It's the exact same thing as cards, and it's like, dude... And again, we'll get to the cards. Those are a hefty topic, if you will. <laughs> Can't wait for those. Um... Yo, thank you for the honey tear, Joe. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, there's also this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I, I think it's one thing to uh, criticize stuff that, you know, aren't optional, but if they add stuff that you can use if you want to, I feel like it's whatever. You don't have to use them. <clears throat> Um, who's excited for this? Look, it's Stardew Valley, an Asian, before Stardew Valley came out. So in a way, Stardew Valley is Asian. Asian 2.0. Hell yeah, farming poggers! <laughs> yo, James, yo, Brian, welcome. Look, you can play with kitties and doggers. How sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Uh, now you. Ryoma has beautiful eyes. True. Beautiful eyes. That he does. <clears throat> a gem. Yes. 
You know, one thing I do wonder about Ishin is it gonna be as grindy? That's a big one. I'm assuming like most people here haven't played uh, the original. The original, as far as I've heard, I haven't like I haven't done grinding almost at all, but I've heard it from a lot of people. It's comparable to Lost Paradise, and if you know anything about Lost Paradise, oh, oh gee, mama, oh boy. <laughs> Ugh, it's gonna be kind of rough. So, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that was Another Life, the uh, side story, if you will, for Ryoma, where you bond with Haruka and help her um, pay off her debt, I think, or something like that. Anyway. <clears throat> what else do we have? Um... The man who raised his name. Who's excited for that? <laughs> oh yeah, I would love to see Lost Paradise for PC. Please, RGG, please. Yo, thank you for the six months. Shin Megami Tensei Enjoyer, thank you. Kiwami 1 Steelbook? Hell yeah, dude, nice. You know, fun fact about the Kiwami 1 Steelbook, there's an edition for that. Where... There's stickers inside, and there's like an additional disc slot for some reason. I actually have that. I got lucky um, on eBay. Like, I went on eBay one day, and I saw, like, um, a Kiwami 1 listing. And it was the one with the stickers, and, and it was being sold for, like, a reasonable price. But I'm pretty sure that edition is, like, very um, rare. <clears throat> Combat overview. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, is it just me or is it a bit faster? Maybe I'm imagining things. Orange. I wonder if this is a minigame music or like an actual combat music. <laughs> and that is Brawl of Tire, fellas. Um, Oh yeah, I need to- wait, 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 before we take a look at any further trailers, for those who haven't seen it yet, I got something to show you. Uh... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, there we go, there we go. You guys are gonna love this. Okay, so this is a preview for the photo mode. Holy shit, why the fuck is it so laggy? Oh, oh, it's just a video, it's not me. So this is photo mode? And look at this costume. It, was this costume in the original? I don't know. I know those costumes in the original, but I think they're all like reskins. Now watch this! The winner! What we, what we all came here for. Watch the... My favorite character right here. <laughs> God, I am at, like... I'm so happy to see them do stuff like this because... Like, adding costumes in... Uh, you know, re like, replays, re like... When you want to play the game again and you just want to swap costumes, I love that kind of shit. I'm a big Resident Evil fan, so changing costumes in the main story is huge for me. I love it. Um... Oh yeah, we also should show the Dragon of Dojima skin. <laughs> I think, like, they definitely added more costumes than I expected in this game. 
Like, the originals are most likely gonna be there, and then you have this shit. God. See? This stuff, I like. I like very much. It just means, like, if you want to replay the game, you can... Well, you can enjoy it this way. <laughs> okay, something else that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, not a trailer, but... Watch this! Uh, so one of the DLCs specified that you'll be able to change the costumes of the uh, Shinsen Gumi Captains. Right? Look at this. Okay, so... Fun fact, I am pretty sure at least some of them have costumes that Ryoma himself used to have in the original. Like uh, the Koshimizu equivalent there, I don't know his name. But that um, top was a costume for Yuma, and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be also here for Yuma, just as in the original. But yeah, it would be... And Kashiwagi has... Okay, that, that is the Tojo top. I think all of these actually are probably going to be skins for Yuma. <laughs> judging by how at least three of those are skins for Yuma. <clears throat> But man, let me just say, I'm so glad they actually allow you to change costumes in the story now, and they show up in cutscenes. And yes, that was Mine. Saito-kun,に会わしたから任務について <clears throat> Look at, look at that top. Holy shit. It's beautiful. Toja clan top. Hold on. Look at how shiny it is. Look! Wait. Look at it. That is awesome, I love it. The colors are just on point, and the design too. No, Hana should still be in there. Uh, she's in the cast uh, page. Uh, this footage is from the Twitter of RGG Studio. They've been putting stuff up there. I think there was something else too, hold on. Oh, there we go. That's what I was forgetting. Wait, wait, wait. Who's this chat? I've seen so many people talking about this design of Kiryu. Like, he has the face of Yakuza 5. The suit or the body of Kiwami. And then the hair is Yakuza 6. Hold on, look closely. That is Yakuza 6 here, or Dragon Engine here, if you will. Um, it's a very interesting hybrid. It makes him look, like, different in a way. <laughs> oh, the rock, paper, scissors game. I wonder if he's gonna strip in this outfit too, because that's what this game is about. It's a uh, strip rock, paper, scissors. And here he is in action. I'm just gonna say, I still don't know how to feel about that health bar. It looks very... Like, the UI itself is fine. Like, it's, it's awesome. I like it. It's minimalistic. It's very, uh... You know, it, it keeps to itself. But that shade of red, it's like... Everything else looks awesome, but... Uh-oh. Carrier, behind you! Like, I don't think the issue is the color. Hold on. 
The issue most likely is not the color itself. I think red could work here. It's just... The, it's like... It, it's pure red. There's no effect. There's no... Like a layer of... I'm not good with words when it comes to this kind of thing. Like, like it looks very... Unrefined, if that makes sense. Like, the, the red looks... <laughs> I don't know what's the word for it. <laughs> it just looks... Um... I think you guys get me, I hope. The Japanese gameplay trailer. Yeah, let's take a look at that, actually. Yeah, maybe basic, unpolished, simple. Like, it's just red. Like, there's no added, like, a small added shiny effect or something like that. You know what I mean? It's just red. Pure red. It's like, you take the fucking... Pretend this is a pen. And you just put a red line like this. That, that's what it looks like. Um, anyway. <clears throat> Ryuga Gotoku Ishin Kiwami. I don't know if that's gonna show, make the stuff show, but. Yo, me master, welcome. Hmm. <clears throat> What, wait, let me just check. Is there another trailer we haven't seen yet? I guess the style one. Oh yeah, Storm the Castle. I don't think we've seen that. I think this we've is the one where they show... For centuries. Centuries, yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. We've been waiting for centuries for Ishin. We've been waiting for centuries. Kenny Omega, fellas. <laughs> Maybe not centuries, but it's been a long so, time. The thing about this trailer, I think it's one of the earlier trailers for the game, but they show all of the guests in here. So you, like, if you, um, by the time the second or the third guest trailer dropped, you could probably, uh, call it that all, th these are the guys who are going to be the guests. <clears throat> Yo, thank you for the dragon tear, now you, thank you. That's right. They're just up there in their tower, working on... Thank you, thank you, Nayu. ...while we're down here twinning our bones. Yo, Leela. Thank you, thank you. Now, if it were me... ...I'd storm the front doors... ...and I'd demand answers. Like, can't somebody do something? I imagine, you know, it's not that hard, it's just a bunch of numbers. The Ryuji shirt. We have seen the signs. <laughs> They're everywhere. That's Vampy with me, right? What's coming, but we'll be ready. It's unbearable. Alex Mukala. That never ends. I'm kind of going crazy over here. Neanders. Please tell us or face the wrath of my 1,000 times folded steel katana. Well, there's so much to ask. Man, can we appreciate how far, like, the marketing for this series has come? Like, putting the guests, uh, like, guests aside if you don't like those. Them making stuff like this is insane. I just want to know what's next. I just want to know what's next. Did you ever sign up for the thing? I actually heard about that. We just want to know what's next. We just want to know what's next. Ishin is next, baby. Oh, Yokoyama with the villain reveal. <laughs> I love that shot. Look at the Giga Chad. Look at him. You can just hear the introduction sound effect. Do, do. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the sign up thing. So, uh, again, for all of those people upset that I'm not there, again, thank you for the love, but really, it's fine. I think it's even my fault because there was apparently a sign up thing. Uh, I think I heard it was last summer something for creators and i because like i wasn't really active on twitter at the time i probably didn't hear about it so it's my fault you guys don't have to worry about it so much so that's why like nowadays i'm trying to be more active on twitter um and again i think i told you guys in general i just want to be more consistent with content um it's a mistake that i'm working on mending so that's why you guys can expect that 
five hour essay video on Jimmy. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, I actually really want to make more essay videos. <clears throat> oh, was it exclusive to US cre uh, creators? I see. That's a shame if it was, but I mean, either way, I missed it. It's on me. Uh, yo, Victor. Hell yeah. Okay, so that was Storm the Castle. Uh, did we watch the Blade of... Ven no, I don't think we've watched this one yet. Blade of Vengeance. Jimmy! <laughs> Are you going to play the combat demo? Yes, I just want to know when exactly that drops. Is it today or tomorrow? Tomorrow, okay. There's Fumo here, bud. Yeah, so for those who haven't heard, apparently there's going to be a demo uh, tomorrow, I guess, according to people. Yo, Static, I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Can we appreciate this Giga Chad right here? Look at him. God damn. Of course they show this. <laughs> that song. God damn. Yeah, I think, um, what was the page again? Gematsu, I think. You should find it on their page. About the demo, I mean. I do wonder, like, how much of the um, soundtrack they're gonna replace. Is For Faith gonna be the intro theme? The thing is, we don't even know if there's gonna be an intro. Feels bad. How do you guys feel about intros? Like, I get it. They're spoilers, but you can also skip them. Yeah, I miss them too. It was such a great way to get you hyped for the experience you're about to get into. Can you look at look at that dude? He's just opening his fucking whole eyes on Ryuji's uh, dragon, if you will. <laughs> nice shot, very nice shot. He's checking Ryuji out. <laughs> yeah, that dragon literally went booba. <laughs> oh, that steelbook. You know, I think... 
this is a very nice uh, front, but I think that interior being outside would have been cooler. Because, you know, this is basically just one side here, you know? Uh, but yeah, uh, God, I really, I was hoping to see, like, collector editions for this. Would have been really sick. Because we don't have GameStop or Best Buy seeing, like, international <sighs> special deluxe collector editions of this would have been really awesome. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I think the last time we got a collector edition, a full-on collector edition in the West was with the Yakuza 6. And that was, what, seven? No. Five years ago at this point? I hope we see more of them. Hello, Khalid. Alaikum salam. Hey, Audrey. Bas. Shall I go look? What do you mean collector edition? Chidi kashka. Steelbook fund. Bas. Okay. I'm pre I'm pretty sure there might be like one or two more stuff we can take a look at. But oh yeah, let's take a look at the. Wait. What do you guys think of taking a look at IGN's preview? Let's see. <clears throat> hey, you are copium for that. Like a Dragon, Ishin was originally released during a very different era for the Yakuza franchise. It hit shelves in 2014 as an offbeat launch title for the PlayStation 4 when only the most die-hard aficionados of Japanese imports were playing Yakuza games in the West. Ishin positioned itself as one of the strangest entries in the canon, trading in the rain-slicked noir of the mainline succession for a samurai western Yo, in the 19th thank century you, thank you, buddy. It's totally disconnected from the prodigal sagas of Kiryu and Majima. So, Sega oh my... Okay, um... For those wondering, if you haven't already heard, the card system is optional. It's optional. You don't have to use it. Um, and if you don't put any cards, I'm pretty sure this is how it looks like. So, uh, yeah. I, you know, when I made that concern video, if you will, that was really just to uh, bring the, well, not even issue, just bring the thing to light and uh, to have people talk about it. Because back then, we still weren't sure, like, if this was, because the way they were like, building up the game, it seemed like it was going to be a big part of it. So, naturally, a lot of people thought it was going to be, like, integrated into the combat. But thankfully, th that is good to know that it's not. Um, I think the the new focus on the card system is fucking awesome. Because, again, it's optional. You don't have to use it. But if you want to use it, now you can use it outside of that one dungeon minigame. And I think, again, being given more options is better than not having them of the mainline succession for a samurai western mashup set in the 19th century that's totally disconnected from the prodigal sagas of Kiryu and Majima. Sega yeah, Majima, fellas, as well as Majima, he's English speakers, probably my favorite Yakuza character. ...too frivolous compared to the rest of the Yakuza lineage. But American gamers are currently in the midst American of gamers. Yakuza What about me? And that means Ishin is finally coming to our Wait. shores of the Yakuza lineage. But American gamers are currently in the midst of an ongoing Yakuza renaissance, and that means Ishin is well, what about us and the rest of the world? <laughs> in the form of this spruced up remake that emphasizes all of its glorious anachronistic excess. <laughs> Do not be fooled by the historical vintage. Ishin is very much a Yakuza game in the sense that it is balanced precariously between a hard-boiled revenge saga and a dizzy ensemble comedy. I played the remake for two hours, which was bracketed by a... That's another thing, actually. Even though this is being um, branded as a remake, it honestly looks more like a remaster to me. 
because I am 120% sure this game uses the exact same assets as the original Ishian, just, you know, made prettier. Unlike Kiwami 1 and 2. Kiwami 1, I'm sure you guys know, that used to be like a PS2 game. They used Zero's engine for that, so technically it is a remake. Same thing for Yakuza 2, that is a PS2 game, and they used the Dragon engine to, you know, for the, re for the re uh, remake. This game, though... It's just the original game made prettier. So really, it's a remaster more than a remake, I would say. A story mission where our main character, Sakamoto Ryoma, infiltrates yeah, a I, secretive I, like, paramilitary it's not a big deal. filled to the brim just with ruthless like killers that. who've mastered a deadly, impervious sword fighting style <laughs> called Tenen Rishin. Tenen in that Rishin. sense, Rishin borrows liberally from some of the oldest kung fu tropes in the book. Along yeah, the way, different though, engine. I ambled into karaoke bars, chicken race track circuits, chicken dance races, halls, and gambling dens. Each Fellas? populated with the mastered a deadly, Which ones are you looking forward to the most? Fighting style called Tenen Rishin. In that sense, Ishin borrows liberally from some of the oldest kung fu tropes in the book. Along the way, though, I ambled into karaoke bars, chicken race track circuits, dance halls, and gambling dens each populated with the exact sort of lovable miscreants that give this series By the way, did color. the original Asian have Mahjong, deep or no? In the annals of antiquity, and nothing has changed. The madcap side quests, Injured intricate dog. relationship building Haruka. subsystems, and ridiculously fleshed out minigames are all right in place. All of this is rendered pretty well for a game that's nearly okay, a decade okay. old. Ishin does have that uncanny plastic sheen you might remember from Yakuza 0, but Ryu Ga Gotoku Studio has done some impressive work in the cutscenes. Ryoma emotes with a remarkable clarity, which is important in a series like Yakuza that oh, yeah, was not its... I saw a tweet talking about how you can see Ryoma's spit here in his mouth when he talks. Wait. Ryoma emotes... Pay attention. Look at the mouth. Actually, let me do the frame by frame skip. See that? <laughs> the detail. <laughs> ...clarity, which is important in a series like Yakuza that tells the bulk of its story through long expository soliloquies. Someday, this franchise will need to upgrade its vision. Yeah, first there was the bread and now we have the saliva. Ishin asserts itself well. Despite sharing its title with the 2020... So we're gonna see something very interesting here. Reboot Yakuza like a... Oh, I like that effect, I just wanna say. Dragon, which pivoted the... Because when you go into street fights, it's just the black text, and now this is like with, with the red uh, kind of layer. It's like, oh, this is a boss. Yakuza Be careful. Like Dragon, which pivoted the franchise to a turn-based combat structure, Ishin retains its brawler roots. Ryoma cycles through four different combat styles, wielding his fists, a blade, or, delightfully, a Wild West revolver. Yes, this is a Yakuza game that gives you a gun, alongside a special ability that lets you enter a dreamy, bullet-time-like John a gun. Marston to better line up your shots. John Marston, isn't, isn't the that the Red Dead guy? I gravitated towards the most was something Ryoma has dubbed Wild Dancer where he brandishes both his katana and firearm at the same time and drunkenly flails around the arena. One combo ends with him unleashing a hail of bullets in every direction, as if you're breathing- Is it just- wait, I don't think it's just me. The, the effect of, like, the spinning shooting is amplified in this uh, game compared to the original. Watch. In every direction, like, the screen even shakes. God damn. You're breathing direction. As if you're briefly tapping into some... Also, I was uh, gonna get to something here. So, Saijima gets the heat aura, but also, look at the sword. It gets that lightning effect. I don't think that was in the original, was it? As if you're briefly that is tapping pretty cool. into some latent Devil May Cry DNA. Something I've seen a lot of people, like, say, Oh, man, they ruined this remake. Because, like, swords have effects. Let me break something to you. The original game also had swords with effects. It's a genuinely innovative flip on the established... That lightning sword looks so sick. After years of destroying our enemies with cinder blocks and pool cues, sometimes we want to get the job done by simply aiming down sights. 
Ishin does not dramatically like, alter the contours. Criticizing the is one thing, universe. but I feel like some people this nitpick to the point where it's like, nature. dude. It's proudly. Okay, you don't like one lightning effect on the sword. What about the rest of the game? You know what I mean. Ancillary and seems to be best understood as a chance to savor some indulgent fan service injected into a new set of genres. And also something else I've seen in a previous stream, someone was like blaming uh, the remake for too many things going on on the screen. And it's like, dude, as you probably also don't realize this, but like the combo shit and the bonuses showing up, that was in the original Ishin. And guess what? Yakuza 0 also had that. Now, why was that not a problem with Yakuza 0, where you had like numbers all over the fucking screen, money flying and like bonuses, you touched this guy's PP, congratulations, here's a bonus 10,000 yen. Briefly tapping into some latent like, Devil May Cry <laughs> DNA, it's a genuinely innovative flip on the established Yakuza precepts. After years of destroying our enemies with cinder blocks and pool cues, sometimes we want to get the job done by simply aiming down sights. Ishin does not dramatically alter the contours of the Yakuza universe. This is a side story by nature. It's proudly ancillary and seems to be best understood as a chance to savor some Also, I'm pretty sure on the PC version, at the very least, you'll be able to disable the UI, so... ...fan service injected into a new set of genre trappings. Speaking of, I want to get into this briefly. I'm going to get into it in more detail later. But I've had someone, one of those people, I think, who were commenting on, like, why is Devilion not in this? Like, why the fuck would you put this person in there? Again... I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I appreciate the love, guys, but when you go after, or, like, when you show aggression towards these other guests, please don't. Uh, like, I don't condone that kind of thing. Um, saying, like, one card ruins the whole game, it's like, dude, it's a fucking PNG. You're saying a PNG ruins every fucking thing that the developers put effort into in this game? Come on. Be real. That said... That's like the equivalent of... Imagine you're walking down the street in, like, Gaiden or something, and instead of, like, Popo showing the usual sign, they make it, like... I don't know. Uh, carry you in a bikini instead, and, it, and being fucking pissed that... You might be surprised at who pops being, up over the course like of... Like, saying the, the whole game is ruined because that is there now instead of like the usual popo sign when everything else in the game exists come on <laughs> journey at the end of my demo i was introduced to one of the head honchos of this paramilitary battalion it was a man named soji who looked and sounded exactly like majima he even wore an eye patch my favorite wait he said my favorite character very battalion it was a man named soji who looked and sounded exactly like majima he even wore an oh, eye patch. hell yeah as part of this remaster, Sega has cast a number of actors who appeared in latter-day Yakuza games to reprise loose facsimiles of themselves in Ishin. I can only hope that this implies the existence of a grand multiverse of Yakuza. From the Stone Age to the Singularity, Kiryu will be beating people up eternally. At last, all is right in the world. For more on Yakuza, don't miss our review. Can you imagine Yakuza a caveman like a dragon, Yakuza game? <laughs> as well as the announcement trailer for Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. No, Soji. Thank you, IGN. There is more stuff to look at as well. I think there's like gameplay videos from GameSpot and also IGN, I think. God, I can't wait for this game. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and watch the guest card uh, stuff because that is like the biggest topic for some reason. Like, I get it when it was first revealed because it seemed like something that could potentially be a big part of the combat, but we found out it's not. They're just. Uh, they, they're having these guests, and that's likely why they're pushing it. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at them in order, actually. Oh, I just noticed I still have the starting soon text. Let me... There we go. 
All right. Thank you, Static. My name is Kenny Omega. I'm an avid gamer and a professional wrestler. Who knows Kenny so Omega? I've, I've wanted more people to I've heard of him uh, before, you know. Series, and I thought, uh, this trailer dropped. They needed from one of my friends I really low. Well, not it. one. Multiple friends, actually. They like uh, Kenny Omega. That's, that's, that's how I know of him. Professional wrestling is that it is very open-ended. It's open concept. You can take it for face value, or you can really take a deep dive and explore this world where almost anything is possible. Is this <laughs> dream come true? I mean, this is a, a series that I've been so fond of. I actually had no idea, and but uh, a game that I had my Kenny is part of NJPW, right? New Japan Pro Wrestling. I could even be I'm assuming he's pretty in, in fluent in Japanese then. What would Kenny Omega be that is sick. What could he do? That would be like the one winged angel, though. That's the coup de grace. Look at him. That's really what, <laughs> what makes Kenny Omega Kenny Omega. <laughs> I love it. Not only is it, is it that is effect it awesome. is pretty cool. <laughs> I love it. Not only is it, is it, is it awesome, it's cool, but for people that don't know or care about me. <laughs> Like, this is just a useful skill. You're gonna want this skill. It's got a huge area of effect. It's great for crowd control. You're always gonna get swarmed by mobs and hordes of enemies. So here's a question for chat. Who's gonna this use... Uh, a card you're gonna want your deck. Trust me. From the who's gonna use cards on the first playthrough? And who's... Put a one in the chat if you're gonna use them. Put a two if you're not gonna use them for the first playthrough. And the style of storytelling that made the RGG universe so, so, so famous to begin with. It's all represented in a complete different time period, in a complete different setting, with complete different characters. Yeah, all familiar looking pretty even, you know actually. From the series. Please do check out Like a Dragon Ishin. Please, chat, check, check out Like a Dragon Ishin. Goodbye, Mwah. and good night. Bang. Thank you, Kenny Omega. You know, I think they're gonna work like very similarly to what's it called, um, the talismans in Lost Paradise, uh, which essentially are the same thing. PNGs, they just help you in fights. <clears throat> All right, that was Kenny Omega. Now we have five more people. The one that was revealed next, I believe, was uh, Rahul. Wait, wait, wait. When can we install Ishin? I think it was supposed to be today, just maybe later. I think the only way this could be eclipsed is if RGG You know, if if I ever like cards in the bikini. Other than that, this is it. I've if there is a universe where I also made it in here, I would also frame that picture in my room. <laughs> I'm an actor and I'm Goals. also kind of a big gamer. About a year, We're year all gamers. And a half ago, the Yakuza series was recommended to me. And that immediately kicked off this obsession i've been next week is going to be the um, reading post from the community normal launch if you will if you get the digital on, digital deluxe edition this was this you get early access it's going to be in uh, two days and then the fans have been clamoring for it i think that the relationship that rgg right but have, uh you can preload on the 15th right xio just to download the game itself, i think it's supposed it's, to be today this really at least according to playstation fun kind of club that you know when Yo, Luna, welcome. Yaku's a fan in the wilds. It Thank is you, this, like, kind of cool club to be in. And I was a gamer before I was a film fan. So being an actor, when I did my first video game, it was a big deal. I thought I had kind of I didn't get the deluxe. That I hit that ceiling and nothing could get cooler than... It's okay, than you'll still be able to enjoy actors. the game. And then I got an email. Do you have a PS5 or a PS4? Sega and RGG. I have a PS4, but I don't really Would use it like anymore. To I'm going to buy the game on PC. And have me be a card in the game. There he is. It does a move called the Essence of Firestorm, and it's basically a giant orange scorching flame that engulfs all the enemies around. At the drop of a hat, being able to blast orange fire, uh, and that doesn't care who it upsets or incinerates, 
Uh, that I mean, that was me as a teenager. That fits. My parents would tell you. Know, you know, one of the things I'm excited exactly for. I want to see what every other like uh, Yakuza characters' cards do as well, because we haven't seen those. Like a dragon Ishin. Actually, didn't they? Sh month, and uh, I can't wait for you to play it, and I can't wait. Now that I think about it, maybe they did show a few. I'm looking forward to seeing what Song Hui's card does. Probably gonna keep that on me at all times. Yo, TF2 God. Nice, nice. Playing the best Yakuza game. As you should. Good, good. Hope you're having fun. Um, what are your thoughts on Trooper cards? I think they're fun, honestly. They're, they're like really fun, especially because you don't have to use them for all of those people concerned. And while we're on this topic, I might as well bring this now. Remember when I was saying earlier how much I appreciate like everyone saying uh, what about Devil Leon 7 yada 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 as long as there's no hostility towards the other creators thank you TF2 God thank you thank you I I can't lie to you guys finally playing Dead Souls on the PS3 I'm having a blast nice dude nice nice thank you TF2 God not gonna lie, lie to you guys I sometimes get this second hand guilt especially when seeing people like you know, go after other people saying, no, um, so-and-so shouldn't be in this game. Devil Leon should be in this game. It's like, please, dude, don't do that. The only thing you're going to do out of that is make people look at my community. And they were like, oh, who the fuck is this loser? And what's his community about? Because guess what? That actually did happen. Um, on Twitter, someone tagged me. And they were like, yo, is this your community gatekeeping? And I'm like... Please have the brain cells to understand that I can't control the thousands of people that follow me. <laughs> God damn, dude. Uh, being, being, having a big following sucks sometimes. Um, when you can't control stuff like this, especially, it's like... Man. Okay, I think the next was Vampy bit me. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, again, all of those who showed the love respectfully, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Respectfully. I gotta hand it to my friends who got me into the Yakuza series. The donation series. sound? I yeah, I might tweak that ingenious. in a bit. How they integrated a very serious tone, uh, like a Yakuza game, to something Random, but well. Devil Leon, your and beard is awesome. Thank you, buddy. You're awesome, too. Addicted to playing all the Yakuza games after that, because I'm like, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Also, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I've always been called Keep this in mind. They wouldn't built, have much obviously. to gain People always say, you know, are you by putting me in the game you wear black. Uh, uh, from a business perspective, because but when I open my mouth, every single one of you in the chat are here for Yakuza, right? Creative. I love so that means no new fans, basically. With these creators, though, chances are for them, like, having people really or followers who don't know RPG Yakuza series, is very high. And that means more fans. so many different characters that you can embody any of them. I felt insane because I was like, this is crazy. I've never been approached to be in a We're game here for you. that I love. I love the characters. Chad, did I ever tell you that you have, have designed you myself have. anyway? Thank you. I do want to cosplay this. <laughs> Essence of Embrace. That's the most amazing skill. Oh, look at him admiring In this Ryoma. move, they become disarmed by all the charm. I'm here for the beard. <laughs> exude, and they can't move, and they can't do anything about it. And I feel like a lot of times when I express myself with my friends, family, or just my fans, they're surprised like that. Like a Dragon, Ishin came out in 2014 in Japan, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a huge history nut. And this was taking place during the late 1800s, which is Edo You know, period. even if it's an appearance said, just as a PNG, I would love to play the game. But it I must can. be awesome, so like being able to tell people, Yo, to States, I'm in a game. I'm so ready. Like a dragon, Ishin, 21st February, fellas. Mark your calendars. Right, like everyone hasn't already. <laughs> um. So I think after this was Alex. RGG to me is sort of like that indie There he band. is. Hasn't he made I a cover for Friday Night recently, I think? Real, real, real and look at that Majima drip too. Right? 
the style on this guy. My name is Alex Mukala, and I'm a music composer as well as YouTuber. From games, we can learn so much. There is always, in the best game, a layer of human, beautiful messages, especially in the RGG series. There is so much of that, and that's literally my favorite thing. They are storytellers. They have messages. Yeah, the jacket is sick. It lets itself 21st February is my birthday! Hell yeah! My birthday is tomorrow. We have a lot of February people. Or maybe it's just that, you know, because it's February and we're getting this, a lot of people are talking about that. I'm a game composer, so I'm inside games in terms of the music, but to be like a character or something like that, I never expected that in my wildest dreams. Who else has a February uh, birthday? A People from the community, seeing them inside the game, makes me feel like, wow, this company actually... Again, what he just said. The... Setting aside the fact that they didn't put anyone any of you might have wanted, like, you know, uh, Snowiest, uh, Cyric, Yakuza fan, The Patrick, KHH subs, anyone else, like any other Yakuza content creator. I do think this step is a really good one. Because, um, again, it shows that they're willing to take steps with the community now. And going forward with the games, you have no idea what to expect. For all we know, they decide to bring John Cena and Yakuza 8. Yeah, you thought I forgot about that hashtag? No, I haven't. Go on Twitter and put that on right now. John Cena for Yakuza 8. He's the community and they actually care to give the love back. I want to see how the trooper card looks like now. Damn. Yeah, this looks awesome. Nice. Wielding a katana. You know, I've also seen game. some people who were um, really pissed because you have all of these like non-Japanese characters in Ishian, guests or otherwise. And again, for that kind of thing, I say, my friend, if you haven't played the original game, I think it's best for you not to say anything, because guess what? The original game also has non-Japanese characters, and several of them. <sighs> I feel like people just missed the point with this game. It's a fan service game, guys. Outfit. And even then, it's not like it was impossible for foreigners to be in Japan, but like, at that time. You look like a RGG character. Essence of the Crescendo is my card. Blasts away nearby enemies with a symphonic shockwave. That's awesome. I've always heard about this game because, you know, it's very famous and notorious for being one of the elusive chapters in the RGG series. Elusive, is that is right. To see our favorite character. Ishin eluded us for, what, uh, almost actors in this sort 10 years of now. Play of all Japan. Like a Dragon, Ishin, uh... coming out soon. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Who is Patrick? Very good question. The Patrick is one of like the oldest um, Yakuza content creators. Um, I actually used to watch his videos way back and I was like, man, how, how old was I even? 15 or something back at, the, at that time? Um, yeah, Brianna, definitely. It's so fucking hypocritical. <laughs> Uh, so the Patrick made a lot of Yakuza guides, especially, you know, like they were really valuable back in the day as well, because you, you still, we, we, we were still in those dark times for Yakuza where we had to wait for the localization. Um, like we, we had to wait a year to three years to get the English release. And again, just thinking about like, um, how we have international, like same day releases. For Jap like for, for Japan and worldwide is insane to me. Um, okay, and then we have Cole Carnage. I remember seeing some of his uh, I think he reviewed some of the Yakuza games after beating them. I've seen those a bit. Badass Samurai Kiryu, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? This is such a cool place to be bringing them. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say we're very excited to experience it for the first time. My name is Ko Carnage. I am a streamer on Twitch, and I am a big fan of RGG-style games, where many games are kind of like a ride at a theme park. Ryugagotoku games are kind of like the theme You know, I think on this on this video in particular, somewhere in the comments, someone was like, oh, this guy hasn't even played all the games or some shit. Or like, he rushes through the story, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, dude, why, like, 
you have these people who make it a fucking requirement for someone to go through every single fucking Yakuza game for them to be qualified as a fan, and it's like, please, shut the fuck up. Mark itself. So you get this amazing Don't embarrass yourself. Where you're playing a person. And don't embarrass world, other Yakuza there's fans so as well. There's so many different <laughs> facets to what you can do in that world that it makes it feel real. There is one word that I would use for fans of RGG. Funny enough, it's probably the exact same word I would use for the developers. And that word is passion. When I played through the Yakuza franchise, I had thousands and thousands of people that were there along for this ride I was taking. Yeah, I also know that cool, we like really for themselves. Spend and a lot of time of with the Yakuza in general. And turns in the Yakuza franchise are uh, some of the better ones in gaming as a whole. Yo, Trizer, how you doing? How cool this card looks. Not only have they nailed how I look, but Warfare. they gave me a much more physically toned body. Thank you, RGG. This move seems like something that's really going to help from a tactical perspective. You've got a move that not only goes out and hits multiple people. But it also yeah, knocks them back. I, I think it all comes down to and most how you approach what you want to say. Um, like going after someone and just saying, oh, you haven't played all of the games, or you haven't played this game, and or you've only played this game and that game. You're not like a real fan, yada yada. I think that's dumb. Importantly, having the ability There's always to a better way to approach what you want to say. Let's you decide. Yo, thank you for another super chat, TF2 I, God. The best way to engage. I understand this is the first RGG couple of people, but I feel putting a tuber in the game is a bit ridiculous. Not that Frankly, I'm saying I anything negative. Still am. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. We'll get to that. Thank you, TF2 God. Like a Dragon Ishin is coming out soon, and if you are anything like me, you are probably incredibly excited to sink your teeth into this one. That's we'll me. Hear you, I mean Ryoma, in a new adventure as we see what feudal Japan has to offer. Let's get going. Hell yeah. Yeah, people say like this stuff is really out of place, especially with the next guest appearance when you have shit like the idol stuff in Yakuza 5. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's like, I don't know, too girly or some shit. Dude, sh shut the fuck up. Have you played Yakuza 5? Oh, it's not the same. It's a VTuber. Okay, well, VTubers are humans too, in case you uh, forgot that. Um... Again, not liking something is one thing. Like, when I talk about this stuff, it's mostly... Like, it's mostly about people who think the whole game is literally ruined because of this kind of thing. And it's like, dude, you think the game is ruined because of an optional feature that you don't have to use, and it's a fucking PNG, it's a JPEG P image file. Dude, come on. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the super chat, Epic Pooch. Thank you. Found a Yakuza 3 PS3 on eBay. Should I buy it? Found a Yakuza 3 PS3 on eBay. Should I buy it? I mean, if you have the money. I was considering getting that too, actually. The audition finalist? I don't know. Okay, here is the one. Here is the one that made... Uh... Let me just show it. It looks like my training with this 1,000 times folded ancient Damascus blood steel katana paid off in the end. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow samurai warriors. I am Natasha Nyanes. I've been a big fan of the Yakuza series since I played Yakuza 0 a few years ago. The games actually inspired me a lot, and <laughs> I wish I could be as manly as Majima and Kiryu. <laughs> And I instantly fell in love with the characters and the story and how it can have all this wacky and unhinged action, but also... So yeah, the machine and kiss, just noticed really it. genuinely moving. So being able to be part of like a dragon Ishin in this way is a huge honor for me. I still can't believe I get to be in the game. My trooper card is called the Essence of Conquering. And it's extremely cute and powerful, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> And it basically lets you use my evil cat powers to charm enemies so you can steal their life force and replenish your health with it. I feel like that fits me pretty well. Cause whenever anyone watches my streams, it actually does take a few years off of their life. But I figure that's a pretty good trade-off. I love how it uses my mascot too, since I actually named him Goro after Majima Goro. That is a cute and mascot. He has a little eye patch too. 
I've never been able to play Eastern before since it's never come to the US until now and I've always been curious about it since I love the Yakuza series and it seemed like a super fun spin on it with the historical samurai era setting so if you're a fan too you should definitely check it out because it has everything that people love about the series drama, intrigue, super satisfying and action-packed combat wacky hijinks, addicting mini-games and chicken racing of course, a spirit of manliness that uh -oh. will change you forever. <laughs> Speaking of which, There's a lot I of steam in this one. I think even more than the original. As there are enemies trying to take me down Maybe they're packing I'm extra in this uh, remaster. Around. Yeah, I, like, I, I've seen the kind of, you know, feedback about this particular guest appearance where people are like, oh, I ruined the game. And there's people that are like, Like, I don't know, apparently she did, she did some controversial shit back then, but hey. I personally believe, like, some people have this mentality where it's like, oh, someone has done this in the past, you should never fucking forgive them, uh, like, on this. You, like, hold it onto them until they fucking die, and I hate that. I really hate that. Um, people should have the opportunity to change, and I'm sure whatever she did, I don't know what, what it is, but it was a while back. Um, I mean, hell, I'll give you guys a live example from me. I used to say the R word like it's nothing. Like it's, you know, just another thing on the internet because, you know, the internet. And I think a lot of people would be lying as well if they, like, say they haven't said the word ever in their lives. Don't be like Kume in Yakuza 7 where he's like, oh, I've never committed a crime in my whole life. It's like, okay, even if you haven't, try to be more understanding of people. So, uh, I, I just think it's fucking dumb. Um, if someone did something stupid a while back, then they should have the chance to change for the better. Yeah, it is, like, very hypocritical, in my opinion, as well. Because, oh, they did this fucking thing. How could they? Don't forever forget them. Don't, like... <laughs> Guys, we're humans. We say stupid shit, we make mistakes. But if you're honest about it to people, if you're like if you're upfront about it, then you know, I think that's all that matters. The Y word, Yume. You speaking of Yume. Imagine no, actually, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Oh yeah, there's the actresses trailer. Hold on. What was it called again? It had a certain name. I don't know what it was. Yo, Martin, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, buddy. Jimmy! <laughs> The Yakuza series showed a lot of times that people can change and start again, come on guys. Also hi Leon, hope you're having a good day. Hello Martin, I'm having a good day, thank you buddy, thank you. Oh yeah, I've seen people who are like said they will cancel their pre-order because they saw someone or they saw something they didn't like. And I know for a fact some of them are joking, but for those who aren't, I mean it's your decision but... Uh... <laughs> Speaking of Yume, uh-oh, my browser froze. Fuck! Oh. Okay, so what was the hostess trailer called? I forgot. Um. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be a little spicy. <laughs> Wait, is there? Wait, do they translate this? Hold on. Okay, I guess it is. <laughs> I think these are, um... They're gonna show up in one karaoke song, and that's about it. 
someone correct me if I'm wrong? この度、龍が如く維新、極み、アジアアンバサダー2周年スタ、畑野由衣です。桃の毛からです。小倉優奈です。ゲームの魅力がアジアの皆さんにたくさん伝わるよう、アンバサダーとして今後アジア向けのイ
<clears throat> oh yeah, let's play this again. Uh, oh no! What? Well, God damn it! What was it again? Uh. Oh, thank you, Goku. By the way, sick video that you pushed out. Fellas, if you want more Yakuza content, Goku Doni has got you covered. Uh, God, what was I gonna show? It was something important. Oh shit! Might as well show this now. It's not the thing I, that I wanted to show, I don't think, but... Uh... Fellas? Fellas, I got an important announcement to make. Starting today, you guys are able to get this sick-ass Ishian shirt in my merch uh, shop on Redbubble. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to ever, like, uh, get your hands on it. I will actually show you how to get it. Hold on. There it is. Um, if you want to look extra drippy while playing Ishin, get into that Ishin spirit. Um, go ahead and get that shirt in the merch shop, baby! I still don't have this uh, shirt yet, but I'm planning to get it so I can preview the thing to you guys. How can you make the shirts without copyright? I mean, I see so many content, uh, well not content creators, but there's a lot of people on Twitter that make plushies or stickers or figurines even of Yakuza. Um, and there's other kinds of merch as well. Uh, so I think it's fine. But yeah, because Red Bubble is kind of complicated, let me show you guys something. Okay, if you guys ever want to get that shirt, you go to my shop. I have a bunch of stuff here. Haven't fucking made a new piece in a while, but you'll find this Asian shirt right here. You can get it um, in multiple forms. So you have the shirt itself, and then if you want it on something else, like a hoodie for example, you go right here, view this design on 44 plus products. And look at that. Mouse pad, baseball sleeve, uh, long sleeve, lightweight sweatshirt, hoodie, premium, tank tops, laptop skin, clock, acrylic block, iPad snap case, I don't know who the fuck would get that, but if you do, more power to you, coasters, shower curtain, my choice, I would get that, comforter, is that not just a blanket, duvet, Classic mug. I didn't adjust that one though. Pillow, drawstring bag, travel mug. I think, I think I did adjust that. It just looks kind of weird. Scarf, notebook, zipper pouch. So yeah, if you do consider getting this stuff, which would help me out a lot, I would really appreciate it if you can. If you can't, don't sweat it. You being here is more than enough for me. You go into the link. Go to this page. And you go to view this design on 44 plus products. Uh, where is the underwear design? Uh, good question. I will look into that. But yeah, uh, I'm so happy to have made this. Um, I'm looking forward to getting one myself to show you guys how it looks and to get into the Asian hype as well. And yeah, um, setting this aside though, there's something that I wanted to talk about and I forgot what it was. God damn it. Uh, uh, Ah! Who drew this for you? I found, like, I use Fiverr a lot nowadays. Birthday related? No, but thank you for the guess. Uh, chat, think with me. Think with me. What could I have possibly thought about that I wanted to show and I forgot. I think it was some video on YouTube and it wasn't like, uh, was it an Ishin video? Maybe Yokoyama explaining this stuff. Yokoyama explains Yakuza 5. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not gonna show all of it, but you know, you can find it on YouTube, but it's fucking hilarious. Yoko uh, what's it this? Was it? No, I don't think this is it. Yeah, this is not it. Yo, thank you for the super chat, TF2 God. Yeah, Koryo has bangers for soundtrack. Japanese. The Kohai U series has banger battle themes. Yes, it does. Thank you, thank you. Um, Kenzan Kiwami announcement trailer. Oh, maybe one day. <laughs> The Japanese gameplay trailer. I've been trying to find that and I couldn't. I think it was something else. God, I can't remember. Brawler overview. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Any news on Gaiden? No. We're probably gonna hear more about that after Ishin comes out. Ishin costumes. We have already showed the, uh, shown those in the beginning. Um. And for those who weren't here for it, there is going to be a demo, possibly, for Ishin tomorrow, apparently. Right, here we go. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Wasn't gonna bother. Oh, thank you, Brianna, for the super chat. Yeah, the Nugget hat is fucking amazing. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention that the little Ichiban notification. With the DLC costumes. Then I saw the Nugget head and I revived immediately. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Ichiban notification. Has a little change when you donate $20 or more. He spins the bat a little more. I thought that was cool. Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to show. Now I hope I remember it after this video is done. It's not anything new. I just wanted to watch it again with you guys. This is the fighting styles. How long have they had this announcer? Or narrator? I think he's an old one. I could have sworn, like, every Japanese Yakuza trailer... Oh, sh Every Japanese Yakuza trailer, this guy is in there. Look at that. Sonkui, Tendo, Saiko, Ishiyoda, Masuzoe... <laughs> Ichiban, Nishitani, uh, Mitsu, Makoto, Ed, Munancho guy, Nugget, Tiger, forgot the bear's name, Mame, or maybe, Kaurur. God, I can't wait to use all these, like... Yo, it's that guy from Yakuza 5! Akimoto, Otabori, Lauka Long, Minami, Imoto, uh, Mikio, Mm. God, I can't wait. Oh yeah, they showed these giant battles as well. And then there's this. <laughs> Now this I can kind of understand people being upset about, but like, still. I, I do wonder if... More fan favorites. Kanda, of all people. Love how Bacchus is just like copy-pasted into Ishian. <laughs> They brought the Dame Dane a song! And then there's this one too, with the hostesses. We don't know that yet, Manis. That's what I want to know too. Mahjong is in there. Mahjong is in there. Confirmed. Boys and girls, Asian is officially saved. We have confirmed the... 
existence of Mahjong in this game. Kiwami Entertainment! Nice, dude. Alright, the thing that I wanted to show... Uh, yeah. Okay. Forgets again. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Oh, look at this legend. I wonder how Ishin mode is going to be like. ま、正直言ってこの龍が如く0以降の龍が如くシリーズの中でも多分クゼって上位5本の指に入る人気キャラクターだと思うんですよね。ま、ありがたいことですけどね。なんで、ま、ぜひ今回こう。ああ、there's <笑> <laughs> and then people can actually use it as well when we play the, the game. That's the good stuff. Nice, James. Was only available in Japan. <笑>今回そのリメイクするにあたって世界中の人たちに届けたいっていうので作ってるので、それこそ世界中にクゼのファンとかいますから、その人たちが今回出てるっていうのが分かると多分喜ばれるんじゃないかなとは。それはありがた
Hashtag building the list. <laughs> yeah, Scott and Sam and everyone else did a great job as well. Um, それも、Ozawa played Yaka Zero on the channel and he immediately asked how would it be possible for Kuze to bring the motorcycle in the sewer? Uh, chat, what did I tell you before? Go watch that one video. I can't remember. I think, was it Yakuza? Explains it perfectly well. <laughs> <笑>実際もそんな感じだったんじゃないかなとはちょっと思ってるんですけどね。もう俺決してこう<笑> Oh yeah, the day of the summit was literally too much. You know when you get so excited for something, you get that adrenaline kicking in and it stays there for a while? Like, for me, it took days to wear off. <laughs> to the fans! Fellas, this is for you! Uh, simple message, but an effective one. Thank you. <laughs> and then we have to... Let's watch him first. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> He has way too much fun doing this. <laughs> what a legend. Thank <laughs> イシンって実は龍が如く前回出ていただいたゼロの1個前だった作品的。あ、そうなんですか。龍が如く1 I did hear about the Dead or Alive movie as well. Still haven't watched it. 25 pounds? <laughs> Something I forgot to mention. I'm gonna mention it because I forget a lot. I have a video coming up tomorrow. It's gonna be fucking hype, bro. Ricky reminds me of one of my uncles. Actually, same. Same. Uh, this line right here, I think I'm better than most when it comes to that self-patting in the back. <laughs>
あの結構耳がいいと言われるんで,あでもそ,そういう感じの本当耳が多分すごくいいんだろう、ねうん、だ俺関西の人間でもないし秋俺九州の人間なんだけど一回聞くと関西弁も結構音を覚えちゃうところがあるんで、うん、武田寛流祭っていうあの役自体はちょっと、はい龍が如く維新の世界だとちょっと多分史実とかよりは独特な描き方をしててなんか癖のある人物というか確かに俺癖のある役の方がまあまあ実際多いし自分が好きなんでやっぱりそういうのを見たりしないのどんどんどんどん逆に言うとそっちの仕事が増えていったキャラクターがいやなんか似合うっていうかうまくハマっていただけるんじゃないかなと思ってオファーしたんですけれど演じててなんか違和感ないというか面白かったですそうですね逆に嫌味な役とかなんかすぐになんか追求するのは俺好きなんで芝居 I like sinking my teeth into a villain that way もうキャラクター役のキャラクターではもう人がやんないような芝居を結構自分で作ってやってきたんでこういうキャラがバッチリ多分ここの会社まあセガに今まで来客された方の中で多分最も癖のある登場の仕方をしてると思うんですけどああそうですかいやもう今日朝かっこよかったですよオープンカーでドカーっつって俺自身が、はい、あの武田キャッチャーじゃなくてなくてなくてああなくてだからいやすげえ似合ってるな Not many people、uh, remember that one sponsor from Dead Souls They actually did have a, a, a razor sponsor in Dead Souls It was hilarious あ全然そうじゃないねこれ狙ってないですよね本作楽しみにしてる。Oh, the message, f e l i s this is for you。なんかあのメッセージというか。アワノがちょんまげで暴れまくりますんで、皆さん楽しみにしてください。えー、発売はですね、えー、と明日です。そ<笑>う<笑>。これいつ出すのか知らないけどさ、uh, 発売。Close, I wanna close。待てて。After tomorrow。よろしく。俺その頃死んでるけど。<笑>竹内力でした。<笑> He's like that one uncle that cracks jokes. Maybe you laugh at them. Oh, holy shit, look at that. <laughs> Maybe you don't laugh at them, but he doesn't care. Or, oh, there's the last one. <laughs> It always tells me how alike, but also different. Um, Nakano looks like compared to his characters. Like, mostly because, like, in, in the actual games, they always make the characters like super fucking jacked and like six pack and like, you know what I mean? And then you look at him in real life and he's like a precious little cookie. Look at him. I really like this interview because of what he brings up, and I think there is a message in there, if you will. <clears throat> can I play Ishin and watch your stream? You can, buddy! You can! Oh, look at those glasses. そうそれ一番嬉しいんですよすごいです、うん、海外からも来たしあすごかったです,そです役者仲間の方とかからあもうやっぱゲーム好き多いのでああ。でも龍河男のファンは多いじゃないですか今回あの竹内半平太、はい、主要キャラの中でもかなりセリフっていうかあるほうですか、うん、前回のあの僕がゼロでやった時渋沢、えー、渋沢に比べるともう全然ですよね渋沢はどこいぐらいじゃないですか。どこいぐらいですか。渋沢は結構前半が少なめなんですよ。そうそう、喋ってないですよ。うん、で今回、竹内あの前半も後半も多いんで。あ、もうなんかいろいろ喋ってるもんす、ね。そう。作品全体の今回こういう前提のお話ですってところ一生で一気に喋るじゃないですか。<笑>まあ、今日撮ってましたけど<笑>、うん。はい。あれは大変ですよね。うん、まあ、なかなか。すごくこう、前のゼロの時もそうなんですけど、途中から乗ってくるんですよ。うんうん、乗ってくると、こう。漫画な、漫画とか、絵な、ま、絵なんですけど。うん自分に思えてくるんでどんどんどんああなるほどそうなってくると、うん、もうなんかこう,う、はい、面白くなってくるんで、はい、入るというかうすっげえ面白かったっていうイメージがあってうそういう声優さんたちはそれをもう自分たちは当たり前のようにそれを仕事してるわけですからあでも自由な時代になるなと思って yeah, あいや春日一番見た時も一番すっげえよかったしあーまあ春日一番のそのまあ中谷さんっていうんですけど、はい、主役の人はそのモーションキャプチャーの演技役者の子が春日一番の体の演技してるんですけどを全部見に来てるんですよそこまで来て
彼の体の動きを先に目でインプットしてから声を取るっていうちょっと珍しいことをやってて。役者とかってそういうふうにやりたくなるんですよ。いや、なんかアプリシエーション。自分で。今回だからリメイク。Taking over the role of Han Peito. リメイク作品なんで、前の人のことを引きずんなきゃいけないですけど。Right, so this part about the actor, Katsunori. If you don't know, Takechi Han Peito was played by、um, Katsunori, as they said in the original, and now it's、uh, Nakano. リスペクトできたというか、その、みんなの人たちが、すごく爽やかで、すごくタケちゃんペーター良かったんですよね。これに、like, I think it's so cool how、uh, Nakano gets to look at the, like, how、um, the original Han Peter was, and he gets to, like, familiarize himself with the role. It's a very、um, interesting,、uh, like, dynamic. Uh oh. Dynamic. Man, how much of a loser do you have to be to keep going with this? This guy made like five or ten alt accounts just to try to spoil Lishian. I feel so bad for you. Imagine being that sad. まあ、そういうふうに言う見方をしてもらえれば、一番ありがたいなと思う、ね。いや、いや、もう、それで。やっぱり、それはもう。ジェシー、we need to spoil this shit。まあ、あれはもう一つの完成形。完成形なんでね。by the way、this here is what I was talking about。him talking about how。カツノリーズ、ハンペイタ、is its own thing。and his。um。ハンペイタ、is also its own thing。like。I do agree。there's no need to compare。Because、um, I did see some toxicity about this where people are like, man, fuck these lieutenants. Yakuza Zero looking asses. New fans, yada yada yada. They ruined everything. And it's like, man, come on. It's one thing, you know, not liking the role. But it's another, it's another thing to gatekeep, if you will. ゲームがすごく楽しくなればいいなって心がけて頑張ります。Thank you, Nakano. Thank you. God, what a guy. Look, Arabic Yakuza video.、Uh, this person is actually. This person DM'd me a few days ago. They were like, Yo, you're Arabic? Yeah, I'm Arabic. It's always、uh, entertaining watching、uh, people. Arabic people finding out that I'm Arabic as well. I used to like not. I used to try to strictly keep to English, but then it's like, why do I do this? I mean, modding in the original actors is fine. The problem is, you know, people being toxic and attacking the actors or, like, people who don't mind the changes.、Um, fellas, who is a fan of this? <clears throat> God, I can't wait. For those who missed it, by the way, we got merch. You can find it in the merch shop in the description. It should be、uh, Redbubble. God, I can't wait to get my hands on the shirt. Ugh. No, Forfeit is not copyrighted. It was made、uh, in house. Is there anything else we can take a look at? What's that? 
Yes. He looks like he's from Hokuto. You know, a friend of mine said the same thing. And after hearing that, I can't unsee it. Yo, thank you, TF2 God, for the super chat. Thank you. I find it funny that people complaining about trooper cards, yet they'll defend judgment and lost judgment extracts like they're not the same things. Yeah, I mean, I do think they're essentially the same thing as well. Both are optional, both are like superpower, fireball shooting stuff. And again, because it's optional, it's like, it's whatever. Decide. Uh, there is new footage. Let's see. Da -da 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 I think it's all the same-ish. Like, there's a lot of videos with the with a similar title. It is optional. The cards were confirmed optional. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Cornbread. Thank you, thank you. You know, I was thinking of... Um, because I wasn't sure if the demo was going to be today, I was thinking of uh, streaming for a bit more until potentially the, the demo drops. But the thing is, I think someone said it's going to be tomorrow, not today. And even then, uh, the tweet was about Xbox. But I'm assuming every like platform is going to get the demo. Do the cards replace their styles? No. So you hold L2, or the equivalent for that, and then you can use... Uh, Oh, the cards. The demo info. Let me actually show you guys. Okay, here it is. A combat demo for Like a Dragon Ishin has been added to the Xbox Marketplace backend. The game is out on February 21st for everyone, February 20, uh, 17th for Digital Deluxe Edition pre-orders. So it should be dropping anytime now. Um, so it could be anywhere between now and tomorrow, I guess. But, like, we could do this multiple ways. I could keep The thing is, we don't know when exactly it's gonna be, so I could... Just call it a day soon, and then if it drops today, I'm gonna stream again today. And if it drops tomorrow, well, we're gonna st stream tomorrow. Do you think people are sleeping on Gaiden? Um, in what way do you mean? I think with Gaiden, it's not at the spotlight right now because Ishian is so close. But once that's out of the way, we'll just keep getting uh, Gaiden news, most likely. Yo, my leg is long. I'm good. What about you? I checked Steam database. There's nothing. Mm. Man, if there is a demo and it's only on Xbox, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I think Gaiden is gonna be this year, yeah. And the sun. Thank you, Satoyo. Nice to see you again, too. Leon is not gonna sleep until the demo drops. You joke about that, but... I actually think I won't be able to sleep tomorrow. Yo, thank you for the super chat, you have to go. Thank you. I think I might use the cards in the battle dungeon. Yeah, I mean, originally that's where they were um, available in, but now it's just the whole game. 
I wasn't joking. Yeah, well, there you go. You, you know me too well. Almost always, if there's something big coming up the next day, I can't sleep. Try as I may, I turn and turn in bed. I can't. So that's why, not gonna lie, I'm scared. Yeah, what are you, city? How you doing? Um, this happened for the summit. I only managed to get... Did I even sleep? I don't know. Ah, get for the Hey, well, lay a beer. Gotta get more coffee. Can't wait to play Ishin alongside you. Same. God, I can't wait to experience the game of chat. Like, the game is secondary. The journey with chat, that's the priority. It's all about you guys. It's about you. Apparently the demo's tomorrow. Yeah, uh, so I think someone said the same thing earlier, so... Oh yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the winners, the, ho the hostess winners. I don't think I'm gonna stream that because, you know... Chances are of it being at a time where it's not near the demo is high, probably. I did play Black Panther, yeah, both games. Streamed them and finished them. I played Kuroyo one twice. No, played both of them twice, actually. One Once unlocalized and once localized. Changing heat colors? Did they do that? I mean, we'll see. Uh, maybe I should wait with Ishin until playing... Until I play Like a Dragon because of the new characters? It's up to you. I don't think it's gonna ruin it, anything. Like, you have faces from Like a Dragon, but it's just faces. It doesn't spoil anything. What is your biggest Yakuza hot take? I'm gonna mention my biggest like a dragon hot take instead. Is that fine? The card system looks pretty poggers. Mainly because it's optional, but they're like giving it more attention this time. Oh yeah, I guess there is something we can watch as well. I'm definitely gonna use the card system, yeah. Probably a bit on the first playthrough, we'll see. Guys, how much do you want to bet we'll get someone who... Uh, ...comes up in the chat and is like, Oh, cringe for using the cards? Fucking cringe unsubbed. Ratio plus L plus... ...cringe plus. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Relax, relax! My GPU, RTX 3060. Hi, eh, Ryuga Gotoku series, Chief Producer, no, eh, Sakamoto to Moshimasu.維新のゲームなんですけれども、あの、ま、幕末というこう日本の歴史の中でもすごく大きく世の中が変わったっていうところをえ、舞台にして、え、ま、主人公坂本龍馬というえ、ま、いわゆるあの、日本人ではすごく
and isn't that awesome? I get to be with you guys. I did translate a book once, though, so there's that. Mm -hmm. We upgraded and refreshed the battle system. すごくこうアップグレードしてやり込み要素が高いので、まあそれだけでもすでにオリジナルアソンでいただいた方にはあの楽しめるポイントがあるかなと思います。What book? Um, it was an Arabic book from like I translated thing from Arabic to English. It was about like success or something, how to be successful. やっぱり物語的には留学語読シリーズからはスピンオフ的な扱いで初めてこう留学語読シリーズの uh, had someone at work who was asking him to do that, and my dad was like, hey, how about you do this instead? My major, English, and my minor specialization was translation. Did you like the book? I mean, I'm not much of a book person, and that's not the kind of book I would buy, but it was nice. Yo, Botch, happy birthday, buddy. Tomorrow is my birthday, too. So they started working on this a year and a half ago. A year and a half. That's like not long after Lost Judgment, right? A character's name, Falafel? I don't remember who the character was. Uh, how'd you get so good on English? Just exposure, really. I've been using the internet since I was a wee lad. Falafel, I don't space to uh, Hayamu is best uh, It's Unreal Engine 4. ま、作っていく中てすごく興味というか、ドクワクワクしたのはやっぱり龍が如く New content. For those who don't mind the cards, which card are you most looking forward to trying out? Song Hui's card. Yeah,おずよ。まあカラオケとかも新曲が何曲か。So for those who were asking, hold on, let me just. I think someone was asking earlier, like. How do you control like the style switching in the cards and everything since they're all the same place? When you hold L2, that's when you use the cards. If you just press the arrows, that's uh, the style switching. And on PC, I'm 100% sure you can like disable this. But yeah, that's only on uh, PC. Like if you want to use the cards and disable this, you can do that probably. <laughs> And yeah, if you don't want the cards to show up, just don't equip them. Problem solved. Yo, thank you for the super chat you have to got. New music. You know with how much I played Gear you, I like how light Yagami feels, like he does parkour and stuff. It really neat. Yeah, yeah. Do you know any language besides your native one in English? I studied French for a year and a half in high school, and I did some self-studying of Japanese for like half a year, but I stopped, so kind of, but not really. I forgot most of the French. For those unfamiliar with Ryoma... Right, so I'm pretty sure... I don't remember where I heard it, but there will be like some words they use uh, that they keep as is. Like, I don't have an example. But there will be like Japanese words that they will, you know, just... What's the word? Transliter Transliterate, I think. It's like when you put the same word as is, just, you know... 
in English letters, they will have explanations for what those are. Just like um, original Ishin, actually. There is some kanji used in original Ishin that they don't use anymore. So they have this, what's the word, glossary, I think? Like, when that kanji comes up, you can press start to open that uh, glossary of that word. And you can um, see what uh, that word means. Uh, and there's a similar thing in the English release for, you know, I guess you can say archaic words. Yeah, translator note, basically. Oh, CJ. あの、ジャーナルみたいな形で。よし、you know, I'm still thinking of how I'm going to do my first playthrough. Because ideally, I would want all of my progress on X-Heart, because that's usually how I play these games. So we could, like, focus on the story on the first playthrough. And not do much side stuff. The thing is, though, you do need powerful weapons. Maybe the pre-order weapons will help with that, I don't know. And any new songs? はい、あの、バカみたい以外に新しい Worldwide, the multi-platform Yo, how you doing, Lenny? I forgot about that. Uh, where did they? Who was it that mentioned Japanese Red Dead Redemption? Was it the IGN video? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Will you upload? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably focus on just streaming the game first. Um, let's look at the GameSpot footage. Oh yeah, something I guess we can talk about is, uh, let me just check what this video is about. No, it wasn't. There, there was another video that I, uh, I wanted to take a look at. Hands on. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Xeo. X, thank you. I'm excited for Ishin upset because I have to wait till midnight the next day the 18th because I work the 17th. Much love, Leon. Can't wear for your video. Hell yeah. Uh, wish you, I wish you that uh, workday passes as fast as possible. I know how it is. You know, it, it's funny. Some of, you, some of you guys have work. And then, well, there's me. Like, I don't have uh, work to worry about. In the same term, I mean. Uh, YouTube is my work. But it's still going to be torture for me. Because I know I'm probably not going to be able to sleep the day before Asian. As much as I try. Oh, where was that one video? There was a gameplay video where... How many chapters are in Ishin? I think it... Like the standard 13-ish, maybe? I can't remember. Da -da -da. Half an hour of footage. There was one video that showed a glowing sword, and I wanted to find that specific video. Because people were like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? Like a dragon Ishin. Gameplay. 
Was it this one? No. The trailer that shows... No, that's a bit more, like, story-focused. Probably not gonna show it. Oh, I think this is it. Naeemin. No, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry Was this it? Where the fuck was it, dude? Does anyone know? There was one gameplay video of Ishin that had like a glowy sword. Wait, why did I pause the music? Oh, it's loading for some reason. Did you play the Yakuza phone game? I still do, unfortunately. Yo, Naomi, how are you doing? No, no, not the Saijima Lightning Sword. There was a, a gameplay of Ryoma in a normal, like, street fight with a glowing sword. An official? I, no, I think it's, it, was, it was an official video, like, either from IGN or... Someone said there's a video from Polygon. Was it? No, I don't think it was this one. Maybe? No, actually, maybe it's this one. No, it's it's not this one. For faith, what the fuck happened? Did you get the Valentine's Kaoru Makoto cards? I actually wanted to get Kaoru, but guess who I got? Makoto. <laughs> yeah, I copied the same thing earlier. I just don't know where the footage is, because I got the same footage. Like that we've been watching. <laughs> Yo, Star, how you doing? Hope the cards are toggleable. You mean like optional? If that's what you mean, they are. Don't worry. Inspiration. Who knows the lyrics to For Faith by Heart? Upload date. If it's other YouTubers, I don't want to do that because, you know, it's feeding off of others' content. But if it's like IGN and GameSpot, that's fine. Because I've seen like other content creators do that too. What are we doing today, Leon? We're keeping the Ishin um, hype alive, and we're also discussing everything. Um, really, yeah, because I know the four faith lyrics by heart. Yeah. So anyway, might as well just discuss it now. I'll play like anything in the background. The next. Uh... Dragon Ishin is a curious proposition. So, it's one of the things I've also seen, like, people the core saying like ruining the game or yada 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 yada, you get it, is, like, the swords having effects and all that. And, and once again, like, some sometimes you see, com like, criticisms or complaints about stuff that... Yo, thank you for the super chat, uh, Rare, thank you, thank you. Years, will Hope this will help with getting you a machine. Sega got to realize who the main pillars of this community are. Thank you, thank you, buddy. However, thank you, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So, we know and love, but I've seen like concerns or a different era. stuff like, oh, the game is ruined because these swords have all these effects. But Guess what? The same time, much there are swords, the uh, swords with fire effects all over them in the original as well. There are swords with fucking. Like a dragon dark purple fire all over them in the original as well 
Japan's history, which and again, I I really can't tell if these people like they're trying to be the cool person in the room that doesn't like the popular thing, or if they're trying uh, like I, I really can't tell. <laughs> because even if you do have a problem with that kind of stuff, just don't use them. But saying it's like ruining the game and like how could they do this? And also, you get some people actually blaming Yakuza Zero and Seven for this kind of shit. And you get people saying, oh, it's all the fault of Yakuza 0 fans, all the fault of Yakuza 7 fans. So dumb. But yeah, there's a glossary button, uh, as we said. I, I think that's very sick. For newcomers, taking a detective plot akin to judgment, another And I, I know, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I know it might get annoying for you guys to hear me rant and rant again and again about this, but it's like... Ladies and gentlemen, way, the narrative is compelling. you do realize we've been playing the same play fucking series, where from game one, you play as a guy with fire coming out of him, remarkably well and you pull off all these moves that should kill people, but they don't. Familial dynamics and development of uh, friendships. my Within god, it's like, of the campaign, have, have we been playing the same series, or have we not? I was putting together the puzzle and would help solve the whodunit mystery with the small crumbs of information... One streamer I watch... And some because of like, even well, not how much he rants, but because of like the rants and chat finding them this. amusing. I also couldn't help they made an emoji of the, the streamer made an emoji of him like ranting like and going crazy. And I found, found that to be funny. Maybe we could do that also one day. <laughs> so that whenever I rant, chat just spams that emote. We could call it Leoning. Devil Leon 7 -ing. combination also works its way into Brawl. <laughs> gameplay, which is largely in line with the mainline games that preceded it, albeit with much more sword and gunplay this time around. <laughs> in combat, there are four stances that Ryoma can assume. Swordsman and gunman are self-explanatory. The former has Devil Link, the yeah, that works too. The Yo, thank you revolver, for the super chat, Unamika69. Thank you, thank you. Is only fists. Thank you, thank you. We didn't you. want to the spoil the game, but we added the option to spread Yuji's cheeks weapons. in that one the default QTE. Stance, no cap is for the real. one I initially attempted. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, you know. <laughs> flavor of Looking forward to that. I'm getting used to, and I uh -oh. found that my opponent moved too fast to give me the opening I needed. The same went for Gunman. Also, another thing that's a bit amusing to me is seeing all these people brawl. say like, Dancer, however, "Oh, my samurai game, it's not faithful Sacrifice anymore," and yada yada yada. To be rewarded with a much and again, this dodge. is a like samurai game where people use guns. It's like, oh, my katana, no. I'm sorry, master. Master, but I will have to go all out just this once. Swings of the sword, a godsend when locking on isn't an option. I was able to quickly get in a few blows, and when my opponent launched a counterattack, I was rapidly able to get out of the way before swinging my sword to break his stance. I followed up a few slashes of my katana with. Yeah, I do think a lot of the people that are unreasonable about their criticisms, if you will, never even played the original. They just want to complain because, you know, they want to complain. Was now an even matchup, and I ultimately uh, bested my adversary in short order. As I found my footing, I was able to experiment more with the harder stances. Once I understood the benefits and drawbacks of each form, and got back into the yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, movement, if you guys follow uh, Cyric Z, great guy, by the way. Uh, I'm sure he needs no introduction. Helps out, like literally every single Yakuza fan helps uh, helped me out a lot of times. But he's very well versed in the historical aspect of these games, and um, as the, like as RGG Studio tweeted out uh, posts about this game about the characters, he would keep uh, like uh, mentioning historical tidbits about those characters, and I can't remember what the tweet was exactly, but it was something like, um, it was something like you know the, the samurai aren't as honorable as some weebs would like to think. Like, when guns were invented, hell fucking yeah, they used that shit. Around so yeah, different options all of you in a samurai faithful game, just keep that in mind. And also, 
Remember another thing. Yes, Asian is historical, but also it's not 100% accurate. They add a lot of their own twists. Like the guy Ryuji's representing didn't have golden hair in real life, and that's fine. One specific interaction had a trio of bandits charging at me with their swords before I unleashed shots from my revolver with infinite ammo. The swordsman couldn't get past my wall of bullets, and while my lack of combat creativity didn't net me a particularly high rank, once the smoke God, cleared, the game looks it so was fun. worth it for the hilarity of the moment. While most should have a blast with the combat and the story of the game, what might prove to be more divisive for newcomers are side activities like karaoke and dancing minigames. Though seemingly throwaway distractions in the series, uh... side activities are usually quite involved and incredibly fun. If you've existed on yeah, the same, Roxy. last few years, you'll no doubt be familiar with the Bakuma Yeah, can you guys novel. believe? <laughs> Ryoma sang Dami Dani in real life. Which is proof that you this is historically accurate, fellas. Than you think. He totally this sung the other karaoke songs as well and played rock, paper, scissors with all these hostesses. So keen to see if the full and again, I'm sorry for ranting so much, but like, me, so but many of the things that people will complain right. about with Kurega. the remaster or remake of Ishian existed in the original. Has all the elements That's of like, the dude. But is doing something fun with its world and characters. Oh, what are these non-Japanese characters doing in my Japanese game? In. Guess the what? The original Ishian had non-Japanese characters. And guess what? Original Ishian had glowing fucking bright-ass swords that emitted fire and like purple flames and laser beams and yada yada yada. And it, ultimately, it's up to you if you want to use them or not. It's up to you. Like, you have the choice. You don't have to use them. They're not forcing you to use them. Same thing for the cards. You don't have to use it. Like, if you don't want to use it, if you want that authentic samurai experience, if you will, even though they fucking use guns and all that, go for it! <sighs> oh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm so fucking excited for that. <laughs> Anyone else? Who the fuck is... Who the fuck is Devil Leon 7? Looks like a loser. God, I've seen so many Devil Leon 7 fans talking shit about the other guest characters. I think this guy's a piece of shit. Don't follow him, guys. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna play Ishin on PC. I did see the VR trailer, yeah, but like, man, when it comes to Resident Evil, I don't want to say, like, Resident Evil 8 is awesome, but at the same time, it's like, come on, it's a bit too late to add updates to uh, that game. 1060? Uh, if you mean the graphics card, no, I have a 3060 now. RTX 12 GB. Dame, dame. Is the concern video still valid? For the most part, no. The only thing we don't know for sure right now is if bosses are gonna use, you know, the fancy uh, fireball moves. Like, my initial hunch was that they might save that for Asian difficulty as an extra challenge, so that, you know, you replay, um, you have something to replay the game for, and it's a bit different. But time will tell. Like, we still don't know. Nice, good to hear, Lenny. Um, I guess I shouldn't start Resident Evil as a whole with 4. I mean, if you want to, you could go for it. Resident Evil is a unique case where I feel like games are kind of standalone. Like, they, they do reference, you know, previous games and whatnot, but it's not that big of a deal. If you want to start with 4 Remake, you absolutely could. Uh, yeah, Goku, yeah. I keep hearing about the Asian difficulty. So, what, uh, what is that? For those who haven't heard about Asian difficulty, one of the DLCs that comes with the Digital Deluxe, I don't know if you can get it separately once the game comes out, but there's an Asian difficulty. It's much like Lost Paradise uh, with the canon difficulty that was added as DLC as well. I think we got it for free in the English release, I'm not sure. But anyway, canon difficulty in Lost Paradise made it so that bosses were adjusted according to, well, the canon um, strength that they had and basically that meant you could meet a strong boss early on and then you meet a weak weak boss later on and then you know that kind of thing it's above legend 
Um, so Ishin is probably going to be something similar, where at the very least you're probably going to take more damage and you deal less damage, maybe. I don't know. How will you reset the camera? It still works. I tried. I think it's the same thing as the original Ishin. Like, if you just press L2 like that, the camera will reset. Like, they overlap. Uh... Also, can we just appreciate Lost Paradise soundtrack? My god. Um, it doesn't? Huh. Yo, Prince Jay. By the way, aside from the screen you're looking on right now, I asked for a night version, so we're gonna use that. Uh, probably on the Ishin day, because it'll launch um, when it's nighttime here. God, I'm so fucking excited. I'm gonna binge the anime before playing Lost Paradise. Hell yeah, nice. Are you gonna stream? We're gonna play it on PC. RGG Studio, please give us this game on PC, please, God. It may be grindy as fuck, but it's so fun, and it had amazing moments. Yeah. <laughs> What are your guys' hopes for Gaiden? I wonder if they're gonna charge full price for it. Like, I can see 40 or maybe even $50 being okay. But anything above that, if it's like half the size of a usual Yakuza game, there will definitely be a... Uh, halving the size of a game. Oh, okay. Lost Paradise is the only RGG game I haven't played it. How good is it? It's really fun, it's super grindy on your first playthrough. But man, it has a lot of good moments and a killer soundtrack. Love it. Like, there will be, um... What's the word? Difficulty spikes, so you have to stop and level up. But, you know. I still don't know if Gaiden is DLC. At first I thought it was DLC, but then I've heard it's not DLC, it's a standalone game. But then I've, like, had reason to believe that it is DLC. I don't know. Oh, listen to this soundtrack. Any cat jammers in the chat? I love how we moved on from talking about Ishin to admiring Lost Paradise soundtrack. <laughs> but hey, I, I really, like, the more I look back on this game, the more I appreciate it. Guy didn't stand alone. Okay. Oh, I can't get enough of this. Oh yeah, I should announce my merchandise on Twitter as well, hold on. What's the name of this theme? What was it again? Pure Grudge? Yeah, Pure Grudge. I actually still have my copies. Hold on, let me show you guys.
Right, so uh, this is the English release, and it came with like a reversible cover. It has some stickers as well, by the way, inside. Very sick stuff. And, you know, because we had to wait for uh, the English releases back then, this is the Japanese release. And can you see, like, the cover? Um, I don't know what's the word for it, but, like, when you change the angle, it gets shiny. Yeah, I also have... Majima Jaggy. Then you have this cute little icon here. The fusion. Uh, that was also part of uh, the Lost Paradise Japanese Collector Edition. Man, I really want to see them do more stuff like this with the English releases. Okay. Let's tweet out that merch. Fellas, go on Twitter, give this a like and a retweet. God, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I really love that theme too, hold on. <sighs> How do you increase the bond level in Yakuza Online? Just play quests. Uh, that's really only, all you need to do. Like, you, you know the, the, the... That thing that levels up after the fights, that's the bond level. You just need to keep playing quests. I will always love Shin as a villain. Yeah. Oh, someone just commented on the merch post. He just sold my firstborn to get this shirt. <laughs> uh. God, I can't wait. Well, actually, we have 14 minutes until, um, potentially, the demo drops, so we might as well wait and chat. Or, you know what we can do as well? We can boot up the Yakuza game to do some of the ultimate battles. Have you fought Amon in the original Ishin? I have not. Is Yakuza Online that good? Not really. I say not really by, you know, most people's standards. It's a mobile game. It's, you know, it wants your money. Yo, Red Carp, how you doing, buddy? The people who play Yakuza Online do not like playing it. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that was a demo um, post on Twitter. Like, it's, con it's confirmed for Xbox, we just don't know when it's gonna come out. So, we're gonna wait and see, I guess? Hardest Ammon? Yeah, that I don't know. Someone said hi, YouTube! <laughs> Look! Hi, YouTube! Hi, Ivan! How are you doing? Da, 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 da. 
Might be dropping at midnight PST. So probably tomorrow then. Because I was thinking if it's the same time as when Asian drops for early access, which is 3 p.m. GMT on the 17th. Maybe it's 3 p.m. Uh, today as well. But we'll find out in 12 minutes. <laughs> oh, Lenny. I did one only, or no, not one actually, I did a few, uh, but they were a while ago. The, rec the most recent one was that Judgment uh, mod for Yakuza 7. Okay, which difficulty do you guys pick on your first playthrough? Holy shit, we already made a sale. Whoever you are, I don't know who you are in the chat, but... Uh, hold on. It usually shows me where they're from. United States. Whoever that was, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Straight for the hardest difficulty. Same, same. Though, like, if Asian is gonna be unlocked from the get-go, I'm probably not gonna pick that because, you know... It probably needs maybe New Game Plus, but that's just an assumption. Like, we could start with that and see how it goes. Might give us a laugh or two. Same, Jario. Probably Rafai since it's DLC. Yo, thank you, Sean. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Hardest difficulty locked behind paywall. So, here's the thing. X-Hard, as we know it, is still gonna be in the game. Asian difficulty is like canon difficulty with Lost Paradise. It's an additional difficulty that didn't exist in the original. And that is gonna be DLC. The Ishin demo? I, I don't know. Like, that, that's what we're gonna find out. In nine minutes, we'll know if it's today or tomorrow, probably. Wait, Legend is unlocked right off the bat? Holy shit! Okay, we know what we're starting with, then. Like, I don't have to worry about beating the game and then... Let's fucking go! Bowser, I know the secret you've been hiding. Then go ahead and try again. Turtle Jam. Yeah, there's so many emotes I want to add, but there's a limit. Auto saving. Yeah, I will make sure. <laughs> I am gay for Kiryu. Understandable. Who else is gay for Kiryu? <laughs> I am just gay. Does that count? It does count. <laughs> By the way, not related, but have you guys seen that Team Fortress 2 is getting a fucking update? Oh! It's been a while since I played that game, but... Uh... Oh. Oh, is that a community update? I thought it was like a full-fledged update with new items and stuff. Oh, that sucks. 
Because the way they worded it, it was like it was gonna be a major one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use the swordsman style the most as well. Because, like, as nice as Wild Dancer is, I mean, I'm gonna use it 100%, but uh, being able to block, which you can't in Wild Dancer, is nice. Oh, God. I am so worried. Is Brawler not that good? It is good. It's just, uh, you know, you can't block swords. I don't think. You can parry swords, but... It's pretty viable. The more you, you know, learn with it. I'm so scared I won't be able to sleep tomorrow. Like, God, I have my birthday tomorrow, which I'm very excited for, and then... Um... Asian fucking drops right after that. Yeah, that was back in the day when, like... I was like, oh shit, Mega Drops! I don't really care about that kind of thing anymore, though, but, you know... I'm probably gonna still try to go for Tiger Drops, but... I used to really want to get them. RGG gives you a birthday gift? I would love that. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, Devil Leon 7's birthday. Someone else from the United States bought a Ryoma shirt. Thank you, whoever you are. I am turning 7, how did you know? Sleep stream. <laughs> okay, four minutes. Four minutes. We're gonna get that Asian demo in four minutes, people. Totally not copium. <laughs> Riddle me this, chat. If Devil Leon 7 is so good, where is the other Devil Leon? Devil Leons before him. Chat, we are totally gonna get that Ishin demo in like three minutes. Trust me, bro. Three minutes! Three minutes! We're gonna get that demo! <laughs> yeah, that's most likely gonna be the case, but... I would still like to, uh, consume that copium. Maybe the preload, at least, is gonna be in, like, three minutes, I don't know. <laughs> three minutes! God, I really hope it's not just Xbox, because, like, between all of the... You know, the demos at the conventions and whatnot. And now, having an Xbox-only demo, that would really suck for everyone else. I hope it's, like, uh, for every, uh, platform. We got a Yakuza 6 moment and they released the full game. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not just Xbox. I got an email confirming I had the demo on PS5? Wait, what? Not Copium after all? Two minutes. Two minutes. Is there a demo? 
Maybe. We don't know for sure. Xbox is getting a demo. We don't know about other platforms. That's what, what we're trying to find out. Come on. Steam, I believe in you. Oh yeah, sure thing. Show me the other thing. One minute! We're gonna play Ishin in one minute! I'm not spamming F5, but uh, I will now. I don't know if it ever had a demo on... Uh Steam. Good question. Okay. The Ishin demo is gonna show up now. Right? Now. Okay, I don't see anything yet for some reason. Oh wait, I saw the thing, uh, Mimi, I think that is, uh, th that is Yakuza 7. Okay, the demo. I think the demo is not there, guys. No, no, wait, wait, I, it is there, hold on. Uh, it has to be there. Why do I not see the demo on the page? I think Steam is goofing up today, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we are not winning today. <laughs> okay, I do wonder if the preloading is uh, open now. Hold on. Gonna restart Steam. Uh, Ishin download is live. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, good to know the download is live. At least we get to do that. Though the demo... <laughs> we might have to do that tomorrow, if it comes out tomorrow. The Ishin download. Um, Maybe the download is on PS5 only for now. Might open up later for Steam, because I don't see it. Yakuza Bros. We lost. <laughs> 24 hours streaming waiting for the demo. Yeah, and you can see me sleeping live here waiting. <clears throat> I'm assuming all of you guys downloading it is... Um, it's on console, right? Okay, so the Steam page said six days left, and now it's five days. So I guess the day reset at least. Oh, did the stream die? Hmm. Oh, there's no preloading on Steam. Feels bad. Um. I think Xbox users, you guys want to check first, because I don't know if it's going to come to Steam. The tweet was about Xbox, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. No wishing demo, fellas. Sedge. Sedge. Alright, well... Oh, speaking of console, you guys want to hear something fucking hilarious? A few days ago, well not a few days ago, actually a while ago, there was someone who commented on one of my videos saying they can't take a PC fan seriously. 
And I had no idea what they were saying, so I just uh, moved on. I went back to the comments sometime uh, later. Someone was asking them, like, what the hell are you talking about? And they were saying, oh, this guy is constantly complaining about the frame rates of the Dragon Engine games on the PlayStation. And it's like, um, who's gonna tell him I used to play these games from day one and on the PlayStation until they got the PC releases and I didn't mind them! Like, the whole controversial video, the Yakuza 6 and 7 video, like, that is one way to tell that person didn't read the description or bother to watch uh, anything of the video. It's like buying Yakuza 4, you skip to the end, or not even buying. It's like watching a Yakuza 4 walkthrough, you skip to the end, and then you ask people, Why the fuck does Saejima go balls out? Why? Is he flirting with Kido? Okay, well, for all the people who can download the thing, congratulations! If there is a demo, I will be able to uh, stream that as soon as it arrives. Um, as, like, as soon as I hear about it, you can bet your... Yakuza collection. I'm gonna stream that. So, uh, expect a surprise stream today, maybe, or tomorrow, um, where we play the demo. And yeah! That is gonna be it for today, fellas. It's been a blast. Going through all the footage again, talking about everything, uh, being with you guys. If there is a demo, can't wait to go through that with you guys. And yeah, Asian is close. So close, I can taste it. And once again, Asian merch, fellas. Check it out on Redbubble in the description. With that being said, you guys take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Until next time, bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye.